This is the end. Beautiful friend. This is the end. My only friend, the end. Oh, oh, love, last, the end. Of everything that stands, the end. No safety or surprise, the end. I'll never look into your eyes again. Hello everyone, my name is Kale, and this is Tier 1 Gaming. Today I'm playing a, a game called Rust. It's a really cool uh, survival game, sort of along the lines of Daisy or uh, Infestation or, you know, other survival type games. Only this one doesn't really focus around zombies, it just focuses more on survival in a post-apocalyptic, I guess, post-nuclear uh, war environment. And, uh, rather than having you explore, you know, random towns and you know, stuff, looking for loot in there. Uh, it's a little bit different. It's everything you get, you either have to get up another player, or you have to craft yourself. It's a lot more focused about crafting and building your own environments. And a lot of the terrain of us is really open and stuff. And you'll find people build their own towns and communities, and it's actually a really interesting game mechanic. So here I'm actually going to uh, build a shelter, because I think this little cove out in the mountains will make for a good little safe place for me to... Uh, to on my operations until I have to build a bigger house, which I do plan on doing down the line. Now, this is my first time playing Rust in a long time, and I kind of suck at it, so, um, and also I'm not really a big PC player, so don't judge my mouse aim too harshly if I get into a fight, because I'm not quite used to the mouse and keyboard just yet. But, uh, anyways, so yeah, um, my building just finished right here, so I'm going to, uh, equip it, and we're going to build it. If I can find the key. Um, is it space bar, maybe? Nope. <laughs> um, left click, possibly. I think, um, yeah, it was left click. It was. Okay. Yeah, so this is the shelter, and, uh, now, not all the building stuff you you do is, like, prefab like this, uh, you got, the rest of it's just all walls, foundations, pillars, windows, it's pretty cool, and you can build a lot of your own custom stuff, and, uh, there are some pretty rad bases around me here. Uh, but I'm just starting out, and I don't really have the resources to uh, get too much. But so yeah, yeah. So we got a last little valley, or you know, cove right here. But um, on the other side of this mountain, there's another valley I want to go take a peek at, because I might want to build it over there rather than um, in the valley that's on my side of the mountain. Because on my side is a little cramped. There's lots of people here, uh, and I'd rather just have a little place all by myself. And uh, oh, this seems kind of nice. Um, yeah, nice and open. I'm not seeing too many other buildings there, so it's probably pretty clean of people. I can see some resources down there and uh, some other stuff. Looking good. Um, I don't really see a way I can get down to it, though. I mean, I, mean, I am sort of on the side of the cliff. And, oh! I thought I heard something. Th these are the uh, airdrops. And some supplies and the equipment you can only get at those airdrops. And, yep. There's the drop crate. Uh, I think I'm going to head for those, and then I'm going to go across the road and check out that uh, other valley a little closer. Because there's a road from mine that goes into that one. Alright, let's go. <laughs> so remember earlier when I said that there was uh, no looting of you know towns and buildings and stuff that were pre-made? Yeah, I guess a lot about that. Um, I just stumbled across this irradiated uh, little village here. It's a leftover from the nuclear war, and uh, I am slowly get being poisoned to death. But maybe I'll be able to find something in here, so I'm looking around. And, uh, no, nothing in here. But yeah, so sorry about giving you guys the wrong information earlier. I guess I didn't research the game enough and I played it. So I'm not sure if this is like the only place like this. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Oh, pickaxe. Those are, those are really nice, both as weapons and as um, gathering tools. 
I think a pickaxe is a two hit kill. Sweet. Anything else around here? Might as well look. I mean, ooh, what's this? What is this? Um, gunpowder. Okay, so now I guess. So I guess this is how you, how you get the like that type of stuff, like make bullets and and get more advanced tools. So it makes sense that they have some of these areas. They're pretty rare though. All right, I guess we'll get back on the road and keep on uh, going towards the land of the next valley. So when I reached the uh, next valley over, I was greeted by uh, some bandits up in the tower who uh, shot several um, arrows at me and a few of them had guns and stuff and they weren't all too friendly so I decided to make this bad boy and uh, I found some bullets in that town when I second passed through it so we seem to be pretty well set and now I will take my brand new kind of ghetto revolver and we will try and make it past the bandits got guard in the next valley. Yeah, and also, sorry about cutting so much of this out in this video, it's just, uh, there's a lot of just running around and gathering and borrowing stuff in this game, and I like to sort of cut out as much as, as I can to make it a more enjoyable experience for you. Alright. So, it's still dark, uh, I'm gonna wait till morning before I head on out, because, uh, traveling at night time is kind of dangerous when you don't know the land, and I'm only familiar with the small little area around my home, so I'll just wait in here until night breaks. Okay, so uh, up there on the right right here is uh, this is where that those bandits were holed up and they were blocking the road and making it pretty much impossible for me for anyone to uh, cross into this next valley here and right now I don't see anyone. Um, I think they're not home or they're asleep or something. Oh, fun fact, when you log out in this game, your body doesn't just leave the area, it actually is sleeping on the ground wherever you log out. So that's why people have to build homes and stuff, because they actually have to sleep when they log out. And you can actually break into people's houses and murder them in their sleep and take all their stuff, if you have the tools. Uh, just a fun fact. So I'm going to keep going while it seems like there's an opening in their defenses, and just keep an eye out in case there's any more further down the road. But this is as far as I made it yesterday. And, uh, looks so, so far like there might be a few good places for building, like they're up there. Oh. Oh. Hello there. Hello. Hey. Don't come too close to uh, me. Yeah, I'm running. I will yeah. shoot you yep. if you come too close. Yep. There are bandits in the area. Yeah. Alright, I think he ran off, yeah. <laughs> you can never truly trust naked guys like that, because just because they're not wearing clothes doesn't mean that they don't have anything in their inventory. So you gotta be kind of passive aggressive with them. So people are talking down the chat. There's a bandit in the area, and uh, oh, is this him? Hey, bud, stay back, stay back. I will shoot you. Stay back. I see that bow. I see that bow he has. Back off. You're gonna want to back off, man. Oh, back off. Well, shit. Um, <laughs> I didn't actually mean to kill him, but I guess I was shooting him in the head. Um. Yeah, he had a bow, um, I couldn't really do much other than shoot him there, because he would have shot me with the bow instead, and, um, uh, he's not going to be too happy about that. I mean, I think, pretty sure this is one of the guys who was up in that tower earlier. Yeah, so that guy I killed was definitely one of the guys from that, uh, tower base, and he's not very happy. He told me he'd chase me down and kill me, and, uh, I know he can, he can respond to that base, so, oh! Speak of the devil! <laughs> there he is. Uh, oh, hi, friend. Come on. Let me shoot you. Oh, God. My aim is horrible. Ow. God. Fuck. Shit. Okay. This is not looking good for me, guys. I might die here. Um, oh. Back off, bro. Okay. I, I hit him twice. God. My, my aim is so horrible. I'm a console noob with aim assist. Uh, I need to stop the bleeding or else bad things are going to happen here. Uh. God, my HP is so low. Oh god. Oh god. I only have like one HP. Oh, I need the bandages now. <laughs> okay. I'm not bleeding anymore, but I got one HP left to kill this guy. I know. Oh, this is this is not gonna end well. I just, I just not. Oh. See up here. Oh, yep. Oh. Okay, got him once. This that was my last bullet. Oh god. I'm out of ammo. Okay. Had your time. Oh. Pickaxe! Oh, go, go! 
I got him! I got him! Oh my god, I got him! Oh, yes. Guys, I just killed another player when I only had one HP left. Uh, okay, now I should probably leave pretty soon here, because this guy is not going to be happy with me. He can respawn just down the road. Uh. Ooh. So after I recovered from that little uh, escapade there, I decided I wanted to come back down here and try to find some more bullets or gunpowder, so I can get some more ammo for my revolver. I'm probably going to need it if I ever want to go to that valley again, so we're back in the rad town number one, as I like to call it. And, uh, oh shit! <laughs> what did we- I, I think I just pissed off a even bear. Uh, I, need, I don't think I can kill that thing with a bow. Uh, I'm going to try though. Uh, Okay. Shit. I didn't set up for musings. It's like he's covered in blood. Oh shit, did I hold down the line of oh. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta have one. Oh, is he dead? Is he dead? Did I kill it? I killed him, you impair. Uh what do I get? Oh, not much, but ooh, backpack? Oh, tuna. Water bottle, beans. Why does the mutant bear have that stuff? Huh, that's weird. Okay, I guess we'll head back into town and, uh. St I've still gotta get those bullets, so. Let's see if we get lucky. Yeah, so we're gonna there. Um, down this way will work. Alright. And here seems like it might be good. Is this small stash? What's that? I have no idea where the stash is. I'm hearing uh, med kits. Okay. These are probably better than bandages, so I guess we'll take them. I keep hearing those noises, and I'm kind of worried I'm going to go to the wall. Uh, go away, bad mutants. We don't want your kind here. Go away. Okay, I'm just going to leave with this. I don't got much choice. Anything over here? Uh, oh, bullets, yes! Yes, okay, I need to, um... Yeah, trade meat for them. Oh, oh god! Oh, ow, ow! It's a, it's a, it's a wolf! Oh my god, run! Run! Uh, wolves are faster than us. I need to kill it. Oh, I need to kill it! I need to kill it! Uh, oh god, I can't, I can't see. Oh god, where is it? Oh, no, I need to heal. Oh, oh. Fuck this wolf, man. God, these guys are annoying me. Hi, fucker. Oh, oh, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have turned. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No. I was just getting to a relatively good part of the game. No. No, I don't. That bastard. You should have listened to me. If you just kept running away, I wouldn't have had to finish him off. Yeah, suck it, Bambi. Give me all your meat and fat and cloth that you win at least without that. Uh, alright. Oh, they're they shooting at me? Oh, they are shooting at me, what the fuck? Why would- Guys, why are you shooting at me? I'm a fresh spawn. I mean, I have nothing. Do you want to kill me for my rock? Seriously? Like, are, are you that bad at the game that you would kill me for a rock and a med kit? Like, seriously, guys. Uh, oh, is that for me? Are you dropping that for me? Are you apologizing for shooting at me? Um, where is it? Uh, um, okay. Oh, there it is. Um, oh, you give me food. They give me food. Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks. I guess. Um, appreciate it. I'm gonna go now. That was freaky. <laughs> yeah, so I have a bit of a problem. Um, I still don't have a good range weapon, and um, this wolf chased me up on this rock, and now I can't leave. Um, I'm just sitting here chilling with Mr. Wolfy Wolf, who wants to eat my face. And he's very loud. Jeez, shut up, dog. Uh, Man, I don't know how I'm gonna get away from here because everywhere I move, he just follows me. And I can't outrun a wolf. He will eat my face and butt. 
Oh, well, must have got some wood ones down here. Hack it away at a tree for no apparent reason. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm getting a little bit frustrated at the situation right here. Um, really have no idea how I'm going to get out of this alive, because I can't outrun a, a wolf on the ground. Oh, well. Here we go. It's not here, huh, but... Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Hello, Mr. Wolfie Von, Von Wolfenstein. Here to ruin my day. When I think this. Oh, where did you guys come from? Oh, uh, um, hello? Hello there, um... Why, why would you come to, this, to my rock? Um, well, anyways, welcome to my rock. So now we can both be screwed together. Uh, doesn't talk, you don't talk much, do you? Hey, back up, back up! I don't want to, don't want to. I don't know how we're gonna get out of this alive, man. We're, we're kind of screwed here. I mean, we can't out one wolves or mutant wolves. There's not much we can do. I have nothing. Uh, well, at least now I have a friend to survive with. Oh, no, friends! No, where are you going? Oh. I know. They're all going to murder you. You can't outrun them. Oh, he sacrificed himself to save me. He is a true hero of us. So I found uh, this little place, and uh, I'm hoping there's some gear here, because it's acting like it's one of these on town. It's radiated, and uh, yep, hooray, there's a loot box here. Yeah, I got robbed and lost all my stuff. Uh, wow. We got pickaxe, and ooh, uh, um, screw it. I need your stuff, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, you have a gun? Oh, shit. No, no. Oh. Ah. Yes. Okay, well, there. Now I have everything back. Uh, not everything, I mean, but still. Ew, radiation helmet, those are rare. Gun. More bed kits. Gun powder. Aw, oh, yeah, I'm pretty much set now. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I had nothing to lose and everything I had to gain by doing that. It was nothing personal, I swear. Uh, enjoy the afterlife, my friend.